Hey guys, I'm Tom on Tech Chap, and this is a packed table. Asus ROG sent over a bunch of their brand spanking new gaming laptops for 2022. These have just been unveiled at CES, but I've been given a bit of a sneak peek. Now, a big thank you to ASUS for sponsoring this video, although, as always, with my content, all opinions are my own. And I can't wait to show you these and give you a bit of a first look, but no touching. Well, not no touching, but I'm not allowed to show gameplay. I can't run uh, any tests or benchmarks because these are pre-release non-final versions. It very much is a first look. So let's kick off with this. It's the new ROG Flow Z13 or Z13 for my American friends. And it's the world's most powerful gaming tablet. It's kind of like a Surface Pro 8, but on, ooh, excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> it's kind of like a Surface Pro 8, but on steroids. This is a proper gaming two-in-one. We've got a detachable keyboard, which comes with it. It is not an optional extra, but all the gubbins is inside this 1.1 kilogram tablet. It's absolutely ridiculous what they've managed to squeeze in here. We're talking up to an RTX 3050 Ti, the latest 12th gen Intel CPUs, and that's not your usual low power U or new P series of chips. We're talking full 45 watt H series processors in this guy. So front and center is this 16 by 10, 4K 60 or Full HD 120 screen. Both options are 500 nits, both with adaptive sync support and also both touch screens. So I've got the 4K 60 model here and which is right for you really depends on whether you're gonna primarily use this as a sort of work productivity tool or for, you know, gaming. I think for me, as I probably would use this for gaming, I would go Full HD 120. You want that smoother refresh rate. And we're getting a whole bunch of nice extras with this, like Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support, two cameras, including this webcam and this rear eight megapixel camera. We get Wi-Fi 6E, 16 gigs of LP DDR5 RAM, a terabyte of PCIe 4 storage, proper vapor chamber, super quiet cooling, and it's all housed within this metal chassis. But it's not just about the tablet, the keyboard also gets uh, 1.7 mil of travel for the keys, so it actually feels pretty good to type on. Obviously the touchpad isn't that big, so I'd still use a separate mouse, but it is RGB, just a single zone, but we are getting some nice backlighting. So the idea is you've got your nice thin and light tablet, which is pretty capable by itself, and you can also uh, connect up to the keyboard. But then to really unlock the performance out of this, you can buy the optional XG mobile dock, which connects via this little proprietary port on the side, and that can come with up to an RTX 3070 or 3080. So it's literally plug and play, and then you're getting a proper desktop gaming PC experience. It is all very ROG cyberpunk style, particularly on the back with cooling vents everywhere. And actually we also have this really unique little window inside that lights up. I'm not sure how often you'd actually notice it, but it's a nice touch. But for now, obviously I'm very curious about how much this is gonna cost. It's not gonna be cheap, especially when you do pair it with that dock, but there's nothing else quite like this on the market. It is very cool. So that is, well, that, but let's move on. And now I wanna show you this guy the invisible laptop. It's actually pretty light. <laughs> what was supposed to happen uh, is Asus was supposed to send me the new ROG Zephyrus Duo 16, but they couldn't get one in the country in time for this video, unfortunately. But Asus did share some of their own very tasty footage of the laptop, and this thing looks insane. The thing is, my biggest gripe with the current, or well now previous Zephyrus Duo was that huge chin, but now the 14.1 inch second screen, the ScreenPad Plus, not only lifts up, but it also now slides back. And actually we have an almost seamless transition between the two screens. So we're getting a pretty big design update with the new Zephyrus Duo 16, but we're also getting a spec bump with the latest flagship CPU and GPUs, a new dual spec mini LED screen, which I'll come back to in a second, as well as faster DDR5 RAM. You can spec this with up to 64 gigs. There's also the new ROG Intelligent Cooling Liquid Metal. Then there's Wi-Fi 6E, HDMI 2.1, an IR camera with Windows Hello, six speakers, all the bells and whistles you could ask for. Actually, one of the most interesting parts of the laptop is the screen. So basically, ROG have introduced a new ROG Nebula display standard, which basically guarantees a certain spec for their displays. Brightness, response time, whether it supports a MUX switch, and MUX, which means you can uh, go between the integrated and the dedicated GPUs if you want to save battery. But uniquely, the Zephyrus, I don't know why I'm pointing this way, there's nothing here. The, <laughs> the Zephyrus Duo 16 comes with not only a Quad HD 165 Hertz option, but also 
a dual spec screen. It's a 4K 120 screen like last year and actually still one of the very few laptops that supports that, but technically it's a 4K 240Hz panel, which we just haven't seen before. And actually, due to bandwidth and uh, panel connector limitations, you still can't get that full 4K 240. So what you can do is actually change it down to full HD and then you get 240Hz. So you can either use it like a workstation at 4K 120, a pretty impressive workstation, or switch it to full HD 240. And that is pretty cool. I mean, obviously in an ideal world, we'd have 4K 240, but we're just not quite there yet. So with all these upgrades and refinements, this is probably the laptop I'm most excited for, but just be prepared, it's not gonna be cheap. Okay, next up, we have this guy. It's the new Asus ROG Zephyrus G14. And the big news for 2022 is that we're finally getting a taller 16 by 10 aspect ratio. Honestly, I think every laptop should be 16 by 10. We're also getting a spec bump as you would expect, but actually, interestingly, this is gonna be an all AMD system, so AMD CPU and GPU. We get two screen options, either 144 hertz full HD at 400 nits of brightness, or 120 hertz quad HD at 500 nits. But it's also not just about the specs, because actually this is a whole lot more comfortable to use now. They've doubled the size of the trackpad. You literally couldn't squeeze a bigger one in here. And also they've actually just made the palm rest a bit more comfortable. They've trimmed the bezels, but also still found room for an IR webcam with Windows Hello support. They've also added a micro SD card slot, as well as Wi-Fi 6E, vapor chamber cooling. Plus, as you can see, we have a full 180 degree hinge, which you may be thinking, well, why is that useful? Some marketing reps will tell you, oh, it's so you can share your screen upside down and you can uh, collaborate on projects. I'm not actually sure who would do that, but it does come in handy if you're using a laptop stand because often uh, they're quite high angles. So then you wanna push your screen back a little bit more than most allow you to. So that's actually quite useful. But what truly makes this a next gen laptop is of course the optional anime matrix on the back, which now has 20% more LEDs and is brighter than before. I know it's a little bit gimmicky, but I think it's kind of fun. All right, so moving on and also, well, moving up the lineup, this is the new ROG Strix Scar 15. So this guy is aimed at your more high-end enthusiast esports gamer. We're talking full HD 300 hertz screen. There's no messing around here. This is all about those FPSs. It's all about the best performance. Although we do get Dolby Vision and Dolby Atmos support, which is a nice extra. And also like all new ROG models, we're getting updated CPUs and GPUs, as well as DDR5 RAM, PCIe4 memory, Wi-Fi 6E, Thunderbolt 4, fast USB-C power delivery charging, and also that new super fancy grizzly conductor liquid metal cooling. The only thing missing, let's see if you can tell, is a webcam. But then again, it was never gonna be that good squeezing it in a thin bezel like this. And if you are gonna be streaming, then you'll want a dedicated camera anyway. The top and side bezels are ridiculously thin, although we do still have a fairly chunky chin. But on the whole, I really do like the design with this translucent portion of the chassis giving us a glimpse into what's going on under the hood. The touchpad also doubles as a numpad, which is handy. And also these little armor caps are replaceable. You get a few options in the box and you can even 3D print your own. And of course, we still get that go faster RGB strip underneath. So as with all these laptops, there's a whole bunch of different SKUs and models and specs you can go for. This is the Strix Scar 15. There's also its bigger brother, the Strix Scar 17. And there's also the standard Scar 15 and 17. But having said that, one laptop which I think will sell a lot more actually is this guy, the new ASUS Tough Gaming F15. There's also a bigger 17 inch model of this and they have very similar designs to the Strix Scar, just a little bit pared down as the tough range is all about being a bit more affordable while still giving you great performance. Okay, so right off the bat, the F in F15 stands for Intel, F for Intel obviously, whereas the A series, the A15, can you guess A for Apple A15? That would be a weird one. Uh, no, A for AMD. But this tough range has really come a long way in the last few years. We are still getting a plastic rather than a metal chassis and it misses out on some of the fancy extras like Wi-Fi 6E, Dolby Vision and the ultra highest end specs, but realistically this is all most of his need. 
So inside, we're getting the latest Intel 12th gen CPUs, as well as the latest NVIDIA RTX 30 series GPUs, which actually now are up to 140 watt TGP, so actually pretty beefy variants of the cards. And despite being the more affordable option, we are still getting a MUX switch in here. If you're using this for a bit of work on Netflix, then you can switch to the iGPU and save a ton of battery. And of course, we're also getting DDR5 memory, Thunderbolt 4, PCI4 storage. In fact, we get two PCI4 SSD slots in here, which means it's really easy to add a whole ton of storage. Now the screen comes in two flavors. We have a Full HD 300 Hertz, which I have here, or a Quad HD 165 Hertz display screen monitor panel thing. There's also a bunch of upgrades to the chassis and the design, but they're a little bit more subtle. For example, the whole footprint is now 4.5% smaller, thanks to thinner bezels, so it's a bit more compact. The speakers now support Dolby Atmos. The touchpad is actually 26% bigger, which is great to see. Full RGB keyboard, an even more durable military standard for toughness. And we also have improved cooling with four exhaust vents down below. And on the inside, we have new 84 blade arc flow fans. If you do fancy, something like this, but in a slightly more portable form factor, even more portable than this, then that's where the new Tough Dash F15, also A15 series, comes in. We're talking 10% lighter, 20% slimmer than this. I'm doing lots of hand signals and gestures because unfortunately I don't have the model with me, but crucially, unlike last year's Tough Dash F15, which came with the Intel H35 series uh, four core quad core chip, which was okay. Please work. The new Tough Dash F15s come with 12th gen Intel processors with up to 10 cores, which is what you want. So hopefully we'll see a bit less bottlenecking. I think the touch, to touch, the Tough Dash F15 is actually now definitely worth considering. So Asus and ROG have about a billion new laptops coming out. This is just a handful, just a taste, but hopefully it gives you an idea of what's to come, some of the improvements. And as I say, I will leave links to these and other laptops and well, everything you need to know in the description below. But what do you reckon? Are you tempted to upgrade your laptop or gaming laptop this year? And have you got your eye on a particular model? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching, guys. And if you do want to see more from me and more, you know, laptop videos, then don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button below. And I'll see you next time right here on Tech Chat.